Hello YouTube viewers, hope you're all doing good. Welcome to this video and this is the uh, the third video in this series. Um, in my previous video I showed you how to uh, manage your sites, how to create uh, different sites, um, monitoring instances basically, um, how you can uh, clone it, how you can migrate from one server to another, um, how you can back up and restore your config and so on. So in this video um, I'll tell you how we can protect your site using HTTPS using SSL certificate and I'll be using um, OpenSSL to generate a self-signed certificate um, but if you've got a certificate authority in your um, setup or Active Directory in your um, environment um, you can generate a certificate signing request you can uh, get it signed by the certificate authority and you can install the signed certificate within your organization. So, uh, in my home environment, I haven't got that set up, so um, I'm going to use self-signed certificates. So, I'm on Ubuntu VM01 virtual machine and uh, sudo omd sites. So, that's uh, the production site, that's the single site I've got. That's the site that I created from my previous video. OMD status production. Okay, so that's stopped. Let's start it. sudo OMD start production. Okay, and um, let's try to access it. HTTP Ubuntu VM01 slash production. Okay, and that's the CMK admin. Okay, so as you can see, it's not secure. Let's try and create an SSL certificate, uh, modify a few Apache configurations, and enable HTTPS. So what I'll be doing here is I'll be using the OpenSSL command to generate a certificate power, a certificate and a private key, and I'll be um, updating the default virtual host configuration. I'll be updating the SSL um, virtual host configuration and um, I'll be installing the uh, the SSL module uh, and um, I'll do a redirect so whenever um, users access the HTTP um, URL they will get redirected to HTTPS so they don't have to type HTTPS they just uh, go to Ubuntu VMO one slash production that will get them redirected to the HTTPS version of it Okay, so for that we need OpenSSL. If you don't have OpenSSL, just install OpenSSL because that's a requirement when you uh, install CheckMK. So given we have CheckMK, we should have had OpenSSL installed. So we have OpenSSL. I'm going to do uh, OpenSSL request for a new request. Minus minus help because that's a, going to be a lengthy command. Okay, so we've got few options here, and if you carefully follow what I'm typing, sudo openSSL um, request, and I'm going to use minus new for a new request. So minus new, and I'm going to use new key value, specify as type and bits. Minus new key type RSA and I'm going to change that to 4096 and if you don't specify this entire new key option the default is 2048 bits so let's make it a little stronger so 4096 the next one I'm going to use is X509 which says it's a self-signed certificate so this won't generate a certificate request to get it signed by your certificate authority so minus X509 for self-signing certificate. And then I'm going to say no DES, which means don't encrypt the file. So if you don't specify this option, um, it's going to ask you for a passphrase. And if you enter a passphrase, you don't have to enter a passphrase, but if you enter a passphrase, every time you restart your Apache service, it's going to sit there waiting for you to enter your... <coughs> Pause. <coughs> Pause phrase. So I don't want to encrypt my key. So no DES and dash star what digest you want to use. I'm going to use short 
256-bit algorithm, secure hash algorithm for generating the certificate and minus uh, days do you have days here? Yeah, days plus int number of days cert is valid for days I'm gonna have the certificate validity set to one year which is 365 days minus out so that's the certificate file I'm gonna place that certificate file in etc SSL certs checkmk.crt minus key out so that's your private key etc ssl private checkmk.key okay so once I press enter it's gonna ask uh, ask me to enter a few details about the organization location and so on so country name um, the minimum requirement is uh, the canonical name I mean the common name the fully qualified domain name we don't have to specify these are all optional fields but if you are going for a proper certificate you would fill all these information because that's basically how uh, the end user will um, see will verify the uh, certificate they can look at the certificate and see um, basically who you are and who issued the certificate how long it's valid for and so on but for this demo purpose I'm not going to enter any of these except the common name which is the fully qualified domain name of the server which is Ubuntu VM01 dot example dot com okay so that's created if I do LS EDC SSL search so that's the um, certificate and uh, the private directory is protected uh, so you have to use sudo SSL private uh, check mk dot key so that it is okay we've created the keys now what we need to do is we have to um, edit the Apache configuration sudo vi etc Apache to sites available and there is a default ssl.conf and in here let me change the color scheme and there are two lines here that you need to change the SSL certificate file and the SSL certificate key file so I'm going to change that to check mk.crt and the key is in the etc SSL private directory check mk.key so those are the only things that's required okay so I've installed that and the next thing I need to do is I need to enable SSL and I need to enable this default SSL site so for that sudo a to enable module SSL sudo a to which is Apache to a to enable site default SSL that's done and the redirection bit so how would you redirect it I'm gonna edit the default virtual host file which is ATC Apache 2 sites available um, 000 default.com so that's the default uh, virtual host and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a few lines here and uh, these lines will tell you when there is a request coming in to this virtual host um, I need the request to be redirected to the HTTPS version of it so in my play directory OMD monitoring so that's the github repository that I cloned uh, the github repository uh, will be uh, put in the description if you want so once you git clone this repository which is git clone uh, github.com just me an open source OMD monitoring you'll have the configs directory and in there the Apache rewrite rules so basically I'm going to copy these three lines and paste it here okay and uh, that's all needed rewrite engine on 
So you also need to make sure that uh, the rewrite module is also enabled. It should be enabled if it's not sudo a 2 n mod rewrite. So it says module rewrite already enabled. If it's not, so you have to enable this module in addition to the SSL module. So the final thing remaining is sudo systemctl restart apache2. But before that, uh, it's always a good practice to check if there is any configuration error. So for that, you can do sudo apache ctl2 config test apache ctl config test. So it says syntax is OK. So now we should be good to restart Apache. So that's restarted. And now if I go to HTTP Ubuntu vmo1.example.com, so that should redirect me to HTTPS. And it has done it. And it gives us this warning because it's a self-signed certificate. And that's the default one. And you can see the, uh, the HTTPS version. OK, again, so now let's go and visit our site. HTTP Ubuntu VM slash production. Again, so that's the um, redirection to the HTTPS site. So that's how we install the SSL certificate. If I click in there and if I click at the certificate, you can see uh, these details, the common name, Ubuntu vmo onexamplecom issued on so today is 27th of January, expires on 2020, so that's one uh, year. So we used SHA-256 algorithm for generating the certificate. So that's the um, SHA-256. And the details, so you can see the issuer and all those details. So who it's been issued to and what's the validity and all those details. OK, cool. So that's it for this video. And um, in my next video, I'll show you how to add a host. So far, so far we have been just uh, playing with the server side of uh, uh, CheckMK. So on my next video, I'll show you how you can add a host uh, to uh, the CheckMK server. So probably I'll add uh, a CentOS machine as well as a uh, and Ubuntu machine to show you how it works on these two versions of Linux. Okay, cool. And um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've got any questions, please leave me a comment. And uh, please subscribe to my channel for, uh, for more videos. And uh, cool. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.